Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto E32s and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. We're gonna open up settings and in here we're gonna navigate to display. And we have a couple of things in here. So number one, we have the color palette. Now this is kind of, uh, or at least I expected something else based on the name, but what this allows you to do is change the color scheme of different toggles in here as an example. So we have a couple of pre-made ones and we can also uh, have a multiple colored ones as you can see. And whenever you select them, it automatically gives you the change so you can see how it affects it. You can also create your own right over here. Now this looks like it only adds a single color, which eh, it's whatever. So I'm going to stick with this one right over here. So from here, I can just tap on the checkbox and there we go. And as you can see, it changed the colors right here of these toggles. Now moving on to the next option, it's the dynamic apps or whatever it's called. I honestly have no clue what it actually is called, but uh, I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. So when you have a dock at the bottom, I obviously have four apps. I believe we can make it uh, have five. Just check it out. Nope, not here. Where is it? Unless we can't change it. No, that's just the tray. Yeah, it looks like we might not be able to change it. So let's just assume we have only four. Uh, but if I remove one of these apps from here, just eat, you can see that it shows me now a different app, even though there shouldn't be one in here. And this is showing me the most recent app, which was settings. That's what I opened and that's what's showing up here. Now, if I remove another app, it was gonna, it's gonna show me the previous app before that, which was photos. And now if I were just to, uh, I don't know, open up some kind of other app like files, it should change. But it didn't, because why would it? Not sure why it's not changing now. Come on, don't do me this dirty. Anyway, uh, so take my word when I'm saying that it's supposed to work like that. Obviously it did with the settings uh, when I remove them. Not exactly sure why it's not doing that anymore. So if I remove it, will it switch it? No, it's still showing settings. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure why it's now bugging the heck out. Uh, but in general, it should show me the app. Now there is a little caveat. It sometimes will, I mean, obviously it will not show you apps that are you have right here. Uh, so if you open up any kind of app from a dock or from a page that is visible, I believe, it will not update the apps just because you already have them on your home screen. Uh, so in general, it would show you any app that is in your uh, app drawer. And whenever you open up and close it, it should appear right here in this kind of dynamic uh, field. And this should be changing. But for some reason, as you can see, it's kind of stuck and not changing or updating at all. So. Uh, maybe just a reboot would fix it. But moving on, uh, we have the dark mode, which you can find in your settings. Now, by default, you can obviously turn it on and off, but under the display, you also have a section where you can select dark, uh, dark theme, as it's called here. You can select it here to be on a schedule basis. Now we have uh, at a custom time or from sunset to sunrise. So you can choose either one of those and the device will then be switching between the two modes, light and dark, based on the time of day, which obviously during the daytime, a light mode might be a little bit better. It's easier to see it during like when you're outside and it's sunny, uh, while during the nighttime, you're not gonna be getting flashbanged by your device. Now moving on to another options, we can now scroll down to system where we will find a couple additional things under the gesture sections. So number one, we have system navigation right here. So you can switch between the gesture navigation and three button navigation. For gesture navigation, you also have the options like this one. Uh, so we can 
imp uh, increase the sensitivity of the swipe from uh, either left or right edge. So if you tend to, I don't know, have a miss, miss swipe or it doesn't like recognize it, I can increase the field of it. As you can see, it gives you a bigger field where you can just swipe on it. Obviously removing this kind of like missed swipes. And we also have swipe to invoke assistance. So this basically allows you to swipe uh, from bottom corner to get the assistant like this there we go now if you don't want this maybe you tend to turn that on from time to time you can obviously turn it off right here now moving on to another options uh, we have also double press uh, power key to launch camera that's the default one but you can also change it to be uh, assistant or nothing uh, camera is pretty good i would say now next thing is the flashlight and that's also going to be the last one this is actually enabled by default. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna quickly lock the device and do this. And you can see it turns on the flashlight. And this basically requires almost very little maneuvering. I'm not like violently shaking this. And as you can see, it's turning it on and off. Uh, now, I personally would like to have option where I can select the flashlight to be on a double press on the power button, but we don't live in a perfect world, so we don't have all the settings that we would want at every place. And the flashlight with the shake, in my opinion, is absolutely garbage. Obviously, if you probably go for a jog uh, and you have your uh, have your phone in your loose pants, uh, then it might just turn on flashlight when you don't need it. So obviously, I would probably turn that off. Uh, I can still access the flashlight from the notifications if I wanted to. As you can see, it's right over here. So the shake is just kind of meh to me. And obviously, if you had problems with it turning on randomly, you can turn it off. Now, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.